Hey guys, it's the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. Just a quick unedited video where I want to show you some project updates. A little bit behind on the RDF series, the Radio Direction Finding series. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that uh, some gear I was waiting on did not arrive in time. Uh, didn't think this radio would be for me, but there was one feature with the UVK5 that I was interested in, and that's the ability to put a aftermarket or custom firmware. And there is one firmware in particular with one feature that I think will help me move the needle. In fact, I know it has already helped me move the needle for close in Fox Sense. So we'll talk about that uh, in that episode too. Also received from my wonderful bad guy, uh, Zach, the second sample of the TTP nav kit. This is the second or third evolution of something I've been playing with. Uh, I prefer land navigation and I had good success with the nurse's trifold uh, clipboards and decided to turn that into a good old soft good project that meets my uh, style of operation. So more on this later, but really happy with um, the ability to be able to have all my gear easily accessible right down to the pens, UTM grid square, and then the good old trifold here that fits in my chest rig. Uh, got a little MCOM tools thing that's coming up here. Uh, in the last video, I talked about why the Yesu FTX-1F was not for me decided to trade it. I traded it for an 857D. Uh, this one is not that radio. Uh, this is my old one. And the reason why I did the trade was that it came with two filters, a BHI DSP board and a Mars cap mod. The other guy is doing a little bit better just based on the trade value, but that's fine. I was expecting either something in this footprint or this footprint for the replacement. Again, that's not what this video is about. And uh, this is what I think of when I think field, the ability to take a man pack, frames, and run something in this form factor. Uh, this is not the 818ND, but this is the 8900, but it's about the same form factor and fits in the same bag. And then the FT857D, I believe a 100 watt rig in this configuration is going to be necessary as we see month over month decreases in the solar sunspot numbers. So that's what I was looking for. So apparently I got the definition of field wrong. Uh, but that's what I think of field when I uh, see it in marketing literature. So I'm sticking with the old Yesu rigs moving on. And speaking of moving on, I want to focus on, again, uh, building skills with RDF, building products that help me execute on that, and then building software that complements that. So MCOM Tools R5 is currently in flight. That's my plug and play platform for off-grid communication. And this release that is being worked on is all about offline mapping. And there are a bunch of different mapping use cases that I want to solve for. So uh, decided to play with this a little bit here and find an application where I could have data that would work with the map. So one with the RTL SDR version two dongle. I've had this now for a few years, maybe three years, maybe four. And I wanted to test the mapping with uh, aircraft tracking. So just to have a standard two meter 440 telescoping whip here. And in the style of MCOM tools, there's a little icon there. You just click on that. It's going to do the geo detection based on the GPS. It'll center the map, launch the map. And then you can actually see here, we are already getting aircraft. We've got one, two, three, four, five. And then we've got them on the screen here. Now, this is not my software. This is a program called Dump1090. I am doing a fork of it, and I'm starting to make some modifications, like making these icons bigger. Uh, right now, this is going out to the internet for the tile mapping, but my offline map will be 100% offline, so I'm gonna swap that out. And uh, really like the idea of doing very quick field expedient deployments, so just the ability to connect that and see everything on the fly without any configuration is what I wanted for MCOM tools. So I've got the V3 dongle arriving today from Amazon. Uh, version four did not really work, uh, but for right now, two definitely does work with this. We'll close this. And the other reason why I like this platform that I've been working on is it doesn't have the nerd stuff. So we'll unplug. We'll go ahead and click on the icon. And then it says that the dev ETSDR device is not detected, reconnect it. So really straightforward. Anyways, guys, 
lots going on over here. Uh, if you want to support what I do, check out the link in the description. Can't do all this without you. But uh, yeah, for me, I don't think I'm going to be reviewing any new radios anymore. I think I'm just going to focus on building good software and complementing that with real world, physical, tangible goods like man pack bags, land navigation kit, and focus, focus on skills building. All right. See you guys later. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared.